Come thou found of every blessing to my heart to sing thy praise. Streams of mercy never ceasing call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet Sung by flaming tongues above Waking or sleeping Thy presence my life I need thee every hour Most gracious Lord No Upward has connected Leroy United Methodist Church to the community through many volunteer opportunities, uh, through game day volunteers or player evaluation. Um, also, just the overall family participation as well. Uh, clergy from throughout the uh, Southwest Medina County area will also participate in uh, the halftime devotions and uh, really help us uh, promote the, the game that way. Yeah, that's interesting. The Finance Committee, most people think it's about money. But to me, I think of Matthew 28, 19. It's the Great Commission. It says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In order to do that, we have to exist. In order to exist, we have to be viable. So all things we have to understand come from God. It includes money and the ability to make money. So as a Finance Committee, we must determine where to best utilize our money. First, we have bills and we have expenses, and we have to pay those in order to exist. Without paying those bills, we can't exist. But second, we must find ministries to do in order to be viable. I mean, why would you exist if you're not reaching out and making a difference in the world? Without existence and viability, we cannot reach out to make disciples of all nations. God calls us to be good stewards. And with what he gives us, so that's exactly what the Finance Committee strives to do, to be good stewards. What is the role of the Staff Parish Relations Committee? It's a great question. When I joined the, age, uh, the, excuse me, the Staff Parish uh, Team Committee, I had to discover what that really was. And what I found out is the Staff Parish uh, Committee handles all HR responsibilities. They also listen to the congregation and give feedback. And so the membership of the Staff Parish Committee needs to be a diverse membership from young to other ages to different parts of the congregation. Um, one of the big roles of the Staff Parish Committee is to give the pastor guidance from the feedback that they've received from the congregation. They also actually inspect the parsonage once a year so that the parsonage is kept up to speed. And so at, at that point, it's the responsibility of staff parish to communicate with the trustees and make them aware of any needs or issues going on with, with, our, with our pastor's home. We also interact with the district superintendent. Obviously, uh, we can give guidance to the superintendent, express concerns, especially when we're bringing a new pastor to the congregation. The staff parish committee works very closely with the district superintendent. Like me.
me now my Savior, I come to Thee. How do we love and invest in our next generation? I think we need to read 1 Corinthians 13. <laughs> every day, but at least once a week, <laughs> where it teaches us, Paul teaches us how to love. That's such a broad, broad word. And uh, we learn all our lives. We keep learning or should keep learning what it means to truly love. And uh, I think that we do in the respect that we have the Bible school uh, for kids in the summertime, which I know has brought several. We can't expect all of them, but I know it has brought several families and children into our church, and maybe it's inspired them to go to other churches. Um, they feel the love of God. And uh, I think that's so important. And I know now the kindergarten kids come up through the sanctuary just so they know what the sanctuary looks like. Mm -hmm and uh, just little things like that. And most of all, we need to live our Christian lives. I was brought up in a, a Christian family that was very narrow in their thinking, but I am so grateful to my parents. I'm grateful to God for having been born in a free country and in a Christian family. And though my parents lived their faith, and although I feel that I have grown beyond their doctrine, I still bless them for having brought me up in a Christian home and lived their life what they preach <laughs> and I think that's so important and that was true love true love even when I was admonished <laughs> and uh, did not always get my way most of the time I didn't but I'm very grateful for that because that was love. That was love. And uh, I think that's what we need to do with our children. We need to lead, lead our lives, be such a good example to our kids. And we all fail. I failed a lot of times. But nevertheless, and I think we need to keep growing with them. I, this disciple uh, class that I'm taking right now has been very important in my spiritual growth. Uh, I guess I was ready to learn. And it's been so delightful to interact with other younger Christians who I feel are very good people and very good Christians and uh, learn from them. That's exciting to me. I need the every hour most gracious Lord no.